Hello everybody and welcome to my personal comparison of the Republic fighter tank in LEGO Star Wars. Now this is a vehicle that is surprising to have see LEGO done three different times because quite frankly it's a vehicle that's not prominent enough for LEGO to really even warrant a remake let alone two. So the fact that we got one back in 2008 is surprising here on the left. A remake in 2017, likely because of the Battlefront 2 video game that came out that year. And then out of nowhere, it seems, we have the new 2022 release. Now, all of these sets offer different features. They're very different from one another. Usually you don't see that with a ton of LEGO Star Wars remakes. So to me, it's very interesting. All of them do different things well, and I enjoy all the different aspects of uh, the different builds. Each one does its own thing well, and others not so well. So let's go ahead and discuss kind of based on the different categories. You'll see me arrange from left to right uh, the category in terms of first, second, third position according to my ranking. Now first up are the minifigure rankings and I personally have the 2022 minifigures at the number one position, the 2017 minifigures at the number two spot, and then the 2008 at the number three. And there are a couple reasons why I choose these. Obviously, I think first of all, the 2022 is the obvious pick for the best minifigures out of any of the sets, just given that you're getting three uh, really exclusive, four really exclusive figures with the uh, 187th clone trooper here, which is just an awesome figure. Uh, and then we also have the 187th commander which is technically an airborne trooper and then we also have really the best mace windu ever done with arm printing and whatnot so just great figures there and then you also get two kind of throwaway battle droids which is just great i mean just to get extra figures there i think is awesome but three total clones with the named figure is extremely rare um coming down to a 20 dollars set 25 dollars set technically it was street price was around 20 uh you still get decent figures here i really like the clone gunner here with the 2017 model um this is a figure that's really shot up in value it's still fairly desirable and the Atlas Akira is not bad. I wish there would have been another clone trooper, um, but the other set that we did get two clone troopers, I think it's just a little bit lacking. The 2008, I just put in last place just because the two clones are very plain, and you pay twice the amount as the uh, 2017 version, and you're still not getting as many figs. So just the fact that you're getting two figs in a $50 set in 2008, which is even more in today's money, just isn't worth it to me. Uh, $40 set, you're getting six figures, and then the $25 set, you're getting four. That's just my personal ranking there. For the overall design, this is personally where I have the builds sit. Uh, with the 2008 version in first place, the 2017 in second, and then the 2022 in last place. Now, when I mean design, I mean just the overall aesthetic and look of the set, and especially how accurate it looks to the in-universe vehicle itself. And while this set is not particularly minifigure scale, I think it just captures the design best of all of the TX-130 Republic fighter tanks. Um, and I just absolutely love the scale on this set and just the overall look of it. I think they did a great job. Uh, see if I can give you just a little bit better of an angle there, but you really just get the full picture. Although it is a little bigger, it's just by far the most accurate build. The second most accurate to me is this one, not really from a size basis. This might actually be, well, I guess it's not quite the most on minifig scale of them all, but just in terms of like the size, it might be a little bit small, but uh, the dimensions are still better than the 2022 version to me, just uh, based on the way they did the cockpit piece and just the overall height of the thing and the treads in proportion to the actual cab is just better than the 2022 version where it just sits very, very tall. Um, and while the size might be a little better, the treads just seem a little, a little wonky to me. I, I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but they don't seem to come out like either as far or they're not quite as wide to the body itself while the cockpit sits thin and tall. Um, that's just my personal ranking for that one. Uh, some people might want to flip these two here because this is too big, but again, we're going by accuracy for design and uh, that's my personal ranking. Now for the set features, I'm gonna raise the camera up here just a bit to give you a better look at those. But I again have 2008 in first place, this time 2020. 
2022. And then in third place, we have the 2017. Now the features with this one, again, it's just, there really isn't a comparison to me in terms of what has the best features from the cockpit being just completely removable and just giving you a great interior look uh, to there still being function with the engine up front, as well as compartments in the front, as well as uh, your missile launchers on the side and obviously the guns are gonna rotate. Uh, just better features than most, and actually one of the cooler features of this set is with the top hatch here. If you open this little back door, it is rubber band loaded, and your minifigure will pop up and sit in the turret. So this is the only set where you can actually uh, keep one minifigure in there closed while having one pilot the thing. The other two can't fit two at the same time on, on the actual interior. At least they don't have specific seating for them. Uh, this one, the 2022 version, um, it's okay with the features. There's not a whole lot going on the sides here on this one or the other one for that matter. But there is, again, the opening feature in front. This time this reveals where the main uh, pilot or engineer sits. I don't like that as much as this one where you have kind of your own engine section and then the actual cockpit is where they sit. Because in the actual cockpit, there's not a good way to reach it. Um, there is a way through the back, but just nothing there. And then on the top, you can sit a minifigure, but they're just not going to sit there and have the thing lower enough to actually close the hatch on them. Uh, you know, obviously the rotating guns and stud sh or uh, missile uh, spring-loaded shooters or whatever uh, on the side, but uh, just not, not the greatest. But even worse than that, I personally think, is the 2017 version. Uh, you do have stud shooters on the side with your rotating cannons. There's also a cockpit piece in there with a... Uh, see if I give you a better look at this with a control panel in there which is okay I actually do like the interior space a little better in this one but in the back there's not even a door there's just an extra little storage compartment so really just from the feature standpoint this one's probably the worst although I actually like the interior a little better uh, but the features don't matter a ton to me because that's really have them for displayability um, but the next category that we're going to get to. Now, one last category to me is actually minifigure scale. And usually with Star Wars vehicles, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Obviously, your ATTEs and your frigates and whatnot back behind on the shelves, those obviously aren't necessarily minifigure scale. Uh, but with this set, I feel like it's within a size and price point where it definitely should at least be close to minifigure scale. And a lot of that also factors into your usage of them in mocks. Obviously, you want what's closest to minifigure scale. This is my personal ranking, and this one might be a little, uh, little contentious of a selection here. Uh, but just compared to the minifigure in between the 2017 and 2022 version... I think the 2022 version just is a little better. It might be just a little bit tall, uh, but I think the distance of treads is probably the most accurate. You could go by the Battlefront 2 version of this, and it might seem like the 2017 is a little closer, but just from the in-universe aspect, um, all the diagrams I've looked at seem to make it seem large enough that you can fit uh, easily two engineers on the inside as well as a gunner. Uh, so this one just is a little small. Obviously, the 2008 is way too big, but that's what I think. I don't know if you agree with me in that regard, um, but just comparing this to minifigure scale, I don't know. I think the 2022 is probably the best, um, but that's just my opinion. So for my overall ranking in terms of what I actually think is best, this is it. So uh, the 2008 is in first place. Now I know that might be, man, it's it's hard to try and categorize these because I think everybody just has their own opinions. But 2008 just for the set itself, this is by far the best TX-130 in my opinion. Um, I just like it. It might not be the most minifigure scale, but it's plenty doable. And I just really, really like the build. I just really love the accuracy and I really love the features. Now the 2022, I actually don't like the build nearly as much as the 2017, to be honest with you. The proportions are a little wonky, but the minifigures you just cannot overlook. I think it just, the, the, the inaccuracy of the actual look to the TX-130 on the 2022 doesn't do enough to overrule the minifigures, which by far outpaced the 2017. So I have to give the edge to the 2022 just for these figures. 
odds are you'll never see those again in Lego, just the way it's probably gonna go. Um, you're probably not gonna get those again, or if you do, it's gonna be in like one other set or something like that. So I just have to personally give it to that one. Uh, I just, those minifigures are gonna be something in a few years, I'm telling you. Uh, this one is great, don't get me wrong. I love the 2017. In fact, I probably like it better than the 2022, but just in terms of value for the money and what's just better overall as a set, it's probably, the 2022. So that's all I have for this video. If you disagree with any of my categorizations, go ahead and let me know why in the comment section. I'm very curious to hear what you like the best. Um, and go ahead and let me know what you think is the best, what you like the best. Um, there's just lots of different opinions about this vehicle in particular with LEGO Star Wars. Everybody seems to hate on different ones. Everybody seems to love different ones. So uh, there's no way to please everybody with this one, but uh, I just gave my personal take on it. So I appreciate you all watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe for more content so you don't miss a video. And thank you all for watching. As always, guys, have a great day.